Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to add the search protector to IP camera system. So why we need the search protector? First, let's take a look at a typical IP camera system. This is the PoE NVR. Let's see what all the connection we got to this NVR. The first is the power source. It should be good without search protection because you're supposed to have the search on your AC power source. The second link, the yellow wire, will connect, will link to the router. It should be good. The router stay inside. Also, this is the HDMI output connecting to the TV. It should be not a problem. And we also have the USB port, which will connect to the mouse for the operation. But just let, let's take a close look at these four ports. This is the PoE port. It's supposed to connect to our IP camera outside. You can see there's one code. It's CAFIE linking to the ca this camera. If this cable just travels through the outdoor, and when the search or the lighting hitting the area, the search will spread on the earth. This is the copper cable. CAFIE CAT6 technically just the copper cable. The cable will pick up the search, and the search will travel through the both end. If your IP camera or your NVR is not strong enough to handle the search, it's going to damage your equipment. That's the reason why we need the search protector. Now let's see all the search protector we have here. This is the indoor type. We got two R345 port. One is input, the other is output. Also, there's grounding spot. This is the ding row type. Quite similar. Input, output, also the grounding spot, but we can mount this search protector to the ding row. So we can install indoor, outdoor if you have the uh, enclosed outdoor. This is the outdoor type. We can use this search protector with the camera outdoor directory. All right, now let me just add the search protector to this IP camera system. First, I'm going to remove the cable from the PoE NVR. Now I will use this indoor type search protector at the cam NVR end. I need to connect the camera from the cable from the camera to the outdoor port. So it still need short punch code. You need another short punch code to link the search protector. Then go back to the same PoE port at the NVR. And now I need to move to the camera end. We're going to use this Dingray type search protector. Let me mount the protector to the Dingray. Also, I disconnect the cable from the NVR and connect to the input of the search protector. Now, I just use this short punch code to link output to the camera end. Now the camera is supposed to get in the power and you will see the data on the monitor in a while. This is quite simple, but there's a really critical part about the, how to set up the search protector. It's the grounding. The search protection is all about the grounding. We need to ground this support. It makes sense. We also need to ground the search protector outdoor. Do we need to ground the equipment? The answer is yes. The search protector cannot cancel all the search. There's still about 10% search will pass through, go to the input port and lead to your device. That's the reason why you need to search ground your equipment as well. If you just plan to use the k 5 k 6 cable used with the seal like this one, it's very important you ground the seal independently. Why? In the standard search protector design, this port, the metal of your RJ45, is being isolated from the grounding support. So if you just try to use the, this metal, try to transmit the search to the ground, and hopefully the ground will help you to introduce the, to the search to the ground, it will not. So that is the reason why this seal needs to be ground independently. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post comment section below. See you next time.